It's Katie and welcome back to my YouTube channel today where I do DIYs, thrift flips, and wood signs. Today my video is part of the Hello Fall Challenge which is hosted by Tammy at the Rustic Willow and Ellie at DIY from House to Home. I've listed both of their YouTube channels down in the description box below as well as the playlist for today's challenge. So make sure you check out all of those videos. And if you guys are coming from the challenge, welcome. I hope that you enjoy what you see today and you feel like sticking around and joining me for all my future videos. So for my project, I'm going to be using these wood houses from Target's Bullseye Playground Dollar Spot. I picked them up because I thought they were super, super cute, the little shape, but also having the cute little chimneys already in there. And for $5, really, this is a great deal, especially if you don't have the means to cut out the wood yourself. I'm super excited with them. I think that they're going to be fun. And I am going to be using leopard. I am going to be using leopard a lot in my fall decor this year. So this may not really look too much like a fall project to you, but for me, it is because I will be adding more fall as I go. So I'm just using the Waverly wax um, paint or wax, it's not paint, and just doing the sides and the back and then I just kind of wiped off the chimneys and then I'm going to pull apart my napkin because it is a two-ply and I just need the one. I'm using some Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree and a paintbrush and then I'm just going to add the napkin and that's going to be the first little house. So I'm decoupaging that cute little house together. And I'm going to sand this off. It's important that you sand straight down so that you don't end up um, ruining any of your decoupaging. And then I'm just going to add another layer of Mod Podge and set that aside and let it dry. And basically that one's done. The cute thing about these houses is they can also be reversible, but I just decided to do the stain on the back and the sides just to kind of make them cohesive. So I kind of felt like the darker brown paint in this photo um, would match the leopard more, but I, it doesn't. However, I did want to go with a cream, and unfortunately I didn't hit record when I started doing the buffalo plaid. So for this technique, I taped the blue painters tape down and then I used a baby wipe which is what I'm going to do in the second section here too. After I let the first section dry I just tape down my blue painters tape the other way. The baby wipe kind of helps pull some of the paint because I don't want it to be like super dark and you can kind of see I'm just kind of pulling it off and it it kind of leaves a fun um, distressed and also more buffalo plaid look. I am going to go ahead now that it's dry and sand it as well because I really want it distressed. For the third house I'm just using some black chalk paint. I prefer chalk paint but when I'm doing the buffalo plaid I did use acrylic paint um, but I do prefer painting with chalk paint. I don't know I just feel like it is so much better so I use the Waverly. So I let that dry and I sanded it down and distressed it as well and I tell you I had a hard time choosing a font but I cut out this home using the skinny which kind of looks like radon font. Um, I used regular vinyl and I'll link that down below and my Cricut to cut it out. That is my project today. Super simple and cute and I hope that you guys enjoy it and again I hope that you enjoy visiting here from the challenge and I hope to see you in the future. Today's project was super cute and super simple and I hope that it inspires you to run out and find these little houses if you can. Oh my gosh I think they're sold out but they were super fun to decorate. Let me know if you think leopard is a great fall color as well. And make sure that you guys are following me on all my social media. I would love to interact with you on a regular basis. Have a great day, everyone.